Now what I'm going to do is show you how to log into the admin area. So if you want to add anything to a website in WordPress, you need to log into the dashboard that's called it's the kind of behind the scenes area. So to do that, you always just put the web address and then forward slash WP dash admin. And that will take you to the login screen. You can see my uh, username, password is already in there. So I'm just going to click login. You would then put in your WordPress username and password. Now you won't have those yet. I'm going to send them out to you. But it's your WordPress bankery primary username and password. This will not be your Glow username and password. It will be your WordPress one. So you'll get that separately. There we go. So... That's us into the dashboard area now. And there's several ways to create a new news post and that's pretty much all anyone will have to do. So we'll take care of the management of the kind of administrative side of it. And all you need to do to create a new post is click up here on the black bar at the top. This is your kind of quick launch bar. Um, and you'll notice if I go to the main website now, you'll see that that quick launch bar is always there. So if you're logged in, you can kind of stay logged in and you could save that obviously on your computer so you, anytime you visit the website, you'll be logged in. Um, so that's always there. You can just see there you create a new post. Um, if I go back to the dashboard, to do that, you just click this wee Bankery Primary School. Um, you'll notice here on posts, so they're called posts, news posts, about a Facebook post, it's just a website news post. If you go there, you'll see all posts, and that'll give you a list. So if you ever lose something you were writing, um, you'll notice here we've got a number of pupils that have been creating them. Um, Mackenzie McDonough seems to be creating loads. So anyway, these are all drafts, and they will need to be approved. So we've got it set up so that pupils um, need to have their posts approved, and we'll set it up so that all teachers will be able to approve them. Um, so, yeah. That's a list of posts. You can filter at the top here to edit them all. You know, you could delete some of them if you thought they were kind of old or if people had done loads of start, like these drafts, we might just get rid of a load of them. So, um, that's all the posts. And again, there's an add new button up there. There's an add new button down here. So there's kind of lots of different ways to, to add posts. Um, you probably won't want to create pages, but you might. It's very similar. It's just create a new page. But... Posts is it allows us to well it allows us to filter content so like it means it goes into a database and that you know they're very, become very searchable and you can filter them by date and you know search for them by subject area and stuff so once you have hundreds of posts it makes it easy to kind of navigate and um, whereas pages don't kind of work in the same way so we want to create posts so you click new post and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do that so. If any of you have used Glow Blogs, it's the same system as WordPress. Um, all you do, it looks a wee bit like Microsoft Word or something. It's just a little text editor down here. Um, so I'm just going to give um, this um, a title. So we're going to write a wee post about Alison's Head Teacher of the Year. Um, finalist. Um, that's the title. This is where I would write my text. I'm not going to write anything just now, but that's where you would write it. If you wanted to add any images, you just click Add Media. And from there, you can use images that are already in the library. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you just click them there. Um, and then bottom right, Insert into Posts. You can also create um, a gallery, an audio playlist, a video playlist. Um, the featured image is something that you always need to do. Or otherwise the website's going to look rubbish. So you can do that here. So you can set a featured image here. So for example, I could choose this. Well, let's choose that one actually. It's more appropriate. And then set featured post. The other way to do it is to go right down to the bottom of the post. And down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the featured image. So if I just remove that one, then um, you'll see that in the bottom right hand corner, it says set featured image. So... Post content goes in here, um, and you set a few settings just so it goes in the right place over on the right hand side. So there's a few things to do. You don't need to worry too much about the post format, although if it's a video, you can choose video, and it will allow people to search for just video posts. So um, if you're halfway through and you get stuck for time, you can click save draft over on the right hand side at the top. 
And if you want to see what your post going to look like, you can preview it, and that will show you a kind of front end version that users will see. Um, once you're ready to publish, the blue publish button's there, but we're not quite ready yet. So you need to go down here to categories, and you need to tell the website where to put your news. So again, this is just for user experience, helping the users navigate the website. Um, we want them to be able to click news or events or parent council news. We can add any categories we want here. And it just, you know, it's a bit like Amazon, you know, they started off selling books and now they sell thousands and thousands of products. They need to be put in the right place so that people can find them quickly. So that's all this is doing. It's just putting them into a category so that the website users can find them easily. Tags, um, they're similar to categories. They're not as important as categories. So make sure you, you select category. Um, tags are just like, um, almost like little labels. So if you know if you're going to the Tesco um, or, 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 or somewhere, um, supermarket A or, you know, a big shop, they would have aisles. The aisles are kind of like your categories and they're kind of shelf labels. You know, so if you're in the fruit and veg aisle, that's a category where all the fruit and veg sits. Tags would be like your kind of, you know, vine ripened tomatoes, bananas, whatever, just separating out the broad categories into finer uh, sections. So tags are, are almost fine-tuning. And again, it's all about search. It's all about improving the search and helping the user to find uh, your stuff on the website. Featured image, so, so important. So please make sure you set a featured image for any post. You could do something like just use a default one, like the school badge. That's not really a very good school badge because it's not the final one. Here we go. Um, but you could just set the school badge as a featured image. I'm just going to nick some text um, from the news. Um, let's just see. We'll just do this by about bath oils. Um, so we're just going to steal a bit of text, just to show you what it'll look like. We've stolen a bit of text. Um, put that at the top, it's taking some of the formatting from the BBC. Um, so we've stolen a bit of text. Um, we'll put it in a news category, and then we'll just preview that, just to show you what it'll look like. You see we've got a featured image at the top. Title goes at the top there, and there's our content underneath, and there's some images coming in as well. BBC format has come over, so we've got bullets and all that. You can do all of that as well. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's it done, really. That's it done. Obviously, what you would do is click publish there. Um, but, uh, you know, that that's how easy it is to create news. Same process for pupils. Um, if you want to be really fancy, you can use this thing called the Divi Builder, which helps you build, you know, fancy pages with columns and all the rest of it. But a basic post is just kind of text, and it's hard to do columns like that and stuff like that in a basic post. So if you want to do fancy stuff like columns or, you know, bring in Twitter feeds and whatever else, then use the Divi Builder. It lets you do anything, basically. Um, but basic news post, text, a featured image, stick it in the right category. Jobs are good in.